Many of you are actually not getting hired when applying to jobs on Freelancer. Well, today is your lucky day. In this video, we'll share with you how you should apply to jobs on Freelancer so as to get hired. Applying to jobs doesn't need to be a tough task. We'll guide you through identifying the right job for you and how to actually send in your application which will get you on top of the other applicants. You don't need to suffer any longer. My name is Vince and this is Actionable User whereby we help you become more actionable when using Freelancer. Without wasting much of your time, we'll jump right into this video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm currently in Freelancer as you can see and I want to show you how to apply for jobs. Now, I'll come here to the browse area and hover and there's this search freelancer.com so I'll click on here, I'll write in content writing and top results are here. There is document edition whereby there is professional resume editing services whereby you can read the snippet over here or you can click on more and this will be opened. So you can just click on more here and you can see more information or you can simply choose to right click on this and open link in a new tab and you can go ahead and read it at another time. Then we have other translation jobs here but Let's continue and move on. We have simple copywriting. So I'll click on that and open it in a new tab. And also I'll remember that on the left side there are filters where you can filter by the project type, by the price, by the hourly rate, by the skills needed, all this. So I've opened a couple of work over here. So I'm going to go through each one of them while reading all these. Now, I've gone through all this and read and this person is looking for a writer to complete a 100 page educational project and the subject matter of the project is educational and you can go through it and read it. Now you can see that the person has identified some skills and experience which are needed like strong writing skills, experience in education, in educational writing and all these other things like attention to detail. You can see other information like when the bidding is ending and the actual amount that this person is willing to pay. On this right side you can see also the location that this person is in and they have been a member since 2nd March 2012. Then there are other information here like the skills required and there is a beware of scams alert here. Then there is more information as you scroll down and you'll see place a bid on this project. As we move down we can see that one is allowed to describe their proposal with a minimum of 100 characters. We can go to Microsoft Word and read all this and make sure that we understand. Then we can come here, paste our proposal here and it should be a minimum of 100 characters and this is what makes us the best candidate for this project. So ahead of time I had gone to Microsoft Word and I had read all these things and I had crafted a proposal. So let me open it and show you. And guys remember that if you like to see a video on how to write the best people per hour proposal then you can check the link in the description below. So let me quickly go to Microsoft Word. Yeah, so I had read all these things and written this, so I'm going to click and copy all of this. I'll come here to Freelancer and in this describe area, I'll paste it in. And also, I'm being told here to define a milestone whereby I can define a task I will complete for this. So here you can say, you can state a project milestone or you can just leave it blank here. So for today I can leave it blank or I can say something like yeah, research and writing or any other thing. Then you can edit this or leave it like that. Then when we move down we can see optional upgrades whereby you can click here to sponsor this post. Then you can click on sale and get these benefits or highlight it whereby it will have a 213% chance of being awarded that is 213 higher than the other candidates and you only pay 0 0.30 dollars and if I want this I can just apply or if I don't I can just leave them unchecked and I can click on place bid. 
So once you are sure that you have done all this, you can quickly go through it to make sure that everything is okay. Then you can come here and click on place bid. Then once I place the bid, you can see the bid is over here. If you want to read more, you can click there. And if you see anything like a typo or anything that you like to change, yeah, you can simply come here and click on edit and you'll be allowed to go back and edit it or if you are not pleased with this you can just click on retract whereby you are allowed to recall this proposal of viewers and make some edits or if you see that many people are applying and that your chances are slim you can just retract this you've seen it all guys that is how you can apply to jobs on freelancer it doesn't need to be a tough process if you like to know how to write the best freelancer proposal Check the link in the description box below for that. Also, if you think that I forgot something, also remind me in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. And guys, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.